Corey Oliver, Grenadian swimmer at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. Corey, first of all, the experience of being a first time Olympian and um, participating in the Rio Olympic Games for the first time, what the experience was like? Um, so you know, the experience was amazing. Um, just being able to warm up, um, train with in the same pool as best swimmers in the world. Um, even being in the village with a lot of the best um, athletes in the world in other sports, um, the feeling is just amazing, you know. At your age, very young, how much you think the experience will do for you in terms of your whole development? Honestly, I think it's going to um, come a long way because so far in all the competitions I've participated in, this is by far the biggest stage I've been on. And I think I was well able to compose myself in my event before and during the race. And I think that will help in the future for even the same level and smaller things. Um, it will come a long way in terms of the experience to be able to compose yourself and perform to the best of your ability. Guide me through your preparation for the Olympic Games. Um, well, my real preparation started in December when I went to... Ohio on a FINA scholarship. I trained there for seven, no, for eight months. So from December to like middle July and then I went home back to Grenada and trained for a few weeks um, at home on the coach Natalie. And that was my main, the main um, time, the main period of my preparation was in Ohio from December to July. Okay. You participated on um, a Saturday, the opening day of swimming, probably not exactly what you would have liked it to be, but guide me through the performance on Saturday. Um, the performance was, wasn't the best. Um, in terms of the time, the feeling wasn't bad at all. I felt pretty good um, on the first and second lap. Probably could have went out a little faster on the first lap, but yeah, it's all a uh, learning experience, it's a work in progress. Um, the time was 108.68, my best time 108.39. So it wasn't that far off my personal best. The, the race felt good, no, no errors in terms of being disqualified. So all these things are things you have to be thankful for. Um, and just work from here to improve that. And talking about work from here and improve that, what next for Corey following the Olympic Games? Um, I'll, be, I'll be at home probably for the rest of the year. Um, I'll try to get, um, get out and start training abroad for uh, full time from next year, January. Um, currently, for the rest of the year, I have the we have a local meet at home, uh, the OECS Championships, and then short course world championships in Canada in December um, but currently the training home I think I'm going to take a, a little break after the Olympics and then probably start back full time training in late September or so Finally, the overall experience, Corey, and summarize the overall experience of Rio 2016. And I, I know it's not over as yet, but in terms of what you have experienced. So far, um, it, it, it's not like what I would have thought it would have been. Um, I mean, the experience, like I said earlier, with being around the best at least in the world, people you, see, you only see on TV until they actually come here and you're living here with them, you're eating together with them and it's like you're on that level as well that's it gives you a good feeling and so far the village beautiful um, no problems um, and this is something I would work really hard to try to make again because this experience is like no other